Hey, we made it. We're live. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I'm Brian Himmelfarb. Welcome to the Mortal Kombat talk here tonight as uh, we had our official reveal uh, this afternoon of the new uh, upcoming Mortal Kombat game. Of course, Mortal Kombat 11 is what we're uh, going to be talking about here today. Uh, what we know of so far and what can we speculate, uh, things that we're going to break down here today, everything that happened uh, in the Mortal Kombat 11 uh, reveal that took place uh, from NetherRealm today was just huge. It was amazing. It was blowing me away. And uh, it's time to speculate. It's time to look at what we know, what's going to come, and uh, open the rumor mill to you guys right now to kind of tell me what you guys are looking forward to in Mortal Kombat 11, uh, speculation of what you think is going to be in the game, and so much more. <laughs> but a lot to get into. Uh, we're going to have a Mortal Kombat stream later on on Twitch, so make sure you guys uh, check that out uh, as well. So we'll, we'll be speculating throughout the night of what we think is coming with the game. So... Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for coming in to hang out. Hit the like button while you're here. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing uh, all over social media, uh, especially over on the uh, the Twitter where we passed over 1,100 followers. So thank you guys very much. Uh, what's up, TSS2? Uh, what's happening, man? TSS in the house tonight. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Ryan Romano, what's going on, man? Great to have you in here tonight uh, as well. So where do we begin? Uh, I wasn't going to do something like this, but people have been asking me, Brian, you got to do something with Mortal Kombat. So we're going to do it. Uh, what's up, Steve? Cody, Steve is in the house. What's up, man? Uh, so we're going to get through all the basics, everything that we know, uh, speculation. If you guys got character speculation, uh, put it in the chat. We want to go ahead and talk about it uh, here tonight, uh, and especially in the, in the live stream later. Uh, for Mortal Kombat 10 uh, that we're going to be doing tonight on Twitch. So there you go. Uh, make sure you guys are following me on, on the Twitter at HighOctane underscore Buzz. Uh, also, as I said, twitch.tv uh, slash the underscore Himmelgod. And that will bring you over to Twitch where we're going to do uh, Mortal Kombat tonight. So there you go. Uh, Steve's talking about this, the uh, two terabyte hard drive. Oh, you're going to need it uh, for Mortal Kombat, buddy. <laughs> So let's get the basics out of the way, uh, the, everything that we know of so far. What's up, TJ Banks? Uh, the release date of Mortal Kombat 11 set for April 23rd. Uh, it's set to release on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. Wow, they're going to have a Switch port. That's going to be great. And PC. A lot of people excited for a Nintendo port of this game. It's going to be great. Uh, Copa Combat. Yeah, it looks like Cunny Chris is going to be available tonight, huh? <laughs> Cunny Chris talking about the Copa Combat. <laughs> Uh, that was pretty crazy from last night on Foul Mouth Live. What's up, Sarah? Holy cow. How, nice to see you, Sarah Small. Casey is raw. How's it going? Um, great night for everybody on Foul Mouth Live. It was a lot of fun last night. I was just took back and watched the show. It was great. Uh, so pre-ordering the game. I do have this game pre-ordered. Uh, what's up, Denise? And uh, I have it set up right now, pre-ordered for the premium edition uh, is what I uh, picked up. But pre-ordering the game grants you access to Shao Kahn. So uh, we knew about this at the Game Awards, uh, that if you pre-order the game, you get Shao Kahn. So uh, Shao Kahn is a playable character and also beta access uh, for the game on March 28th. So uh, a little bit, like about a month before the game, you're going to get a chance to go into the beta and be able to play. So uh, that's good news there. Uh, there are three versions of the game that you can purchase right now. Uh, the base game, which is $59.99. There's a premium edition, which is the edition I purchased right now, which is the base game and the combat pack, and that is $99.99. And then we got the collector's edition, which was revealed today. Uh, the collector's edition is the base game, combat pack, steel bookcase, a Mortal Kombat logo magnet, a one-for-one -one life size replica of Scorpion's mask with a stand and uh, authenticity plaque in a black collector's box. Uh, dude, that's a shit, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Holy cow, that is a lot of stuff to get into. Uh, no price has been confirmed of that. It is a GameStop exclusive. I know it's so disappointing that we gotta hear GameStop, but uh it looks to be 
that is the case that GameStop is going to be the people carrying the damn collector's edition. Let's hope GameStop's still in business by then. Uh, I just think it's a bad move. Why didn't they just put it with Best Buy? I think it would have been uh, an easier way to go. Speaking of the combat pack, we've been talking about that now for the last minute. The combat pack, what does it include? Uh, it includes six playable characters. And <laughs> come shot, I mean GameStop. Thank you, Luke Rojas. <laughs> uh, no, I did not get Big Chungus for the PS4 TSS. <laughs> um, six playable characters, seven skins, seven gear sets, and one week early access to all DLC. Uh, this is going to be revealed on January 30th. They did talk about doing a community stream uh, on the 30th. And uh, we're going to get to see who is in this combat pack. Uh, so let the speculation begin. Uh, who we might see. Um, obviously, previous combat packs. Uh, we've seen uh, characters like Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, Alien, Predator, Freddy Krueger. Let it, let it go wild. I've already heard Spawn already multiple times. We heard Spawn since Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, we heard Spawn in Injustice 2. It's been going on and on forever. Uh, so let the speculation begin. Who, no who knows? Uh, Ronda Rousey in Mortal Kombat. Well, she already is. She's Sonya Blade. What else is new? Uh, but we know that she's going to be in the game. Uh, but yeah, January 30th, we'll get the reveal of the combat pack, who we're going to see. Are they going to show them all, or are they going to leave us wanting more? I think that's a big question, because today's reveal kind of left it that way. So, uh, playable characters as we know of right now. Yeah, Spawn, there you go. <laughs> Wait, Spawn's in a new couple of combat. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, that's right, Punisher Season 2 starts tonight. Oh, cool. There, Thank you, Luke Rojas. Uh, playable characters right now. We know of 25 playable characters will be there at launch. Uh, Scorpion, Raiden were revealed during the Game Awards, as well as Shao Kahn, the DLC character for pre-ordering. But today they revealed Sub-Zero, Sonya Blade, Baraka, the return of Scarlet, who was a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 9. And then, of course, Garrus, who's a brand new character, and uh, Garrus can summon sand. It looks like what I saw was summoning sand. Maybe like the sands of time kind of thing. But uh, Garrus, a new playable character, was shown. During the trailer, I don't know if anybody caught this during the trailer, but you did see Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Now, Liu Kang and Kung Lao weren't in their revenant form. Uh, they were in a form of uh, human form, obviously, which confirms the time travel element uh, <laughs> it's confirmed. Big, big chunk is for Mortal Kombat. Oh my God. That was going crazy on Twitter today. Oh man. Uh, can't wait to, uh, pay for easy fatalities as Casey is wrong. I hated easy fatalities in Mortal Kombat 10. They drove me up a wall. I, I, and when they gave them out for free in the beginning, I was like, please, I'll just go use them. But, uh, after that, I was like, no, I don't want easy fatalities. It's just so stupid. But yeah, Liu Kang Kung Lao shown in the trailer uh, like younger versions of them, made me think of Shaolin Monks for a second because that's a game I'm still waiting to see become backwards compatible on Xbox One to give us Shaolin Monks, how great that game was. I put a tweet out today uh, to both Major Nelson and to uh, Phil Spencer, uh, how big they are with backwards compatibility, and saying, how about some Mortal Kombat, okay? You know, get us uh, Deadly Alliance, Deception, uh, the arcade collection, even though I think they're working on an HD remake of uh, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, uh, which seems to be happening by a company called Blind Squirrel, uh, that they are doing the remasters of those games uh, in high definition. So probably not going to see our arcade collection. We'll see that. Also mentioned Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, we're still waiting on this. Ed Boon uh, tweeted this out back in 2015 that we were going to see uh, Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, what's up, Alpha Excalibur, man? Uh, another thing that kind of came into play, I don't know if anyone noticed this during a transition, uh, it was on a screen, and it kind of scaled back from that screen, and you saw a transition, but it looked like that there was a character there, and the speculation that this is Cabal, uh, that Cabal could be revealed very soon. And uh, they mentioned, oh, wait, that's a secret. So when that happened, you saw that transition. A lot of people started thinking Cabal. Uh, 
Twitter went rampant for for Cabal for a, a long period here today. Still going now about the Cabal rumors, and uh, I think that we're going to see it. You guys remember Cabal back in Mortal Kombat three, uh, who was in the game uh, with the the big mask and all that stuff. It was like it was like a respirator or something like that. Uh, but I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Chung is confirmed. Everybody's going. Chung is confirmed for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, Speculating a little bit here in terms of characters, who we might still possibly see here, because uh, they didn't reveal everybody. We only saw seven characters that were on the screen. They didn't show Shao Kahn. We know he's a DLC character, so that's technically eight that we know. Uh, I kind of speculated who we might see returning to the game and kind of want to see what you guys think of this too. Uh, but I thought of Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, uh, Takashi, Takeda, and Kung Jin. Those were the four special forces characters that we saw from Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, I think we'll make a return here and uh, play a key role into the story because uh, they introduced those characters and it was important for them to build a story with them that they were the, the new faces of Mortal Kombat as the old characters kind of phase out and new characters come in. But then again, we got time travel. So, uh, But interesting to see. I think we'll see those four characters. Also, I think Aaron Black, you remember the gunslinging Aaron Black, who didn't have much of a role in Mortal Kombat 10 except for just being a playable character. Unless you read comic books or a whole bunch of other stuff, it's like you never really knew of Aaron Black as much unless you played the game. So it was like, what the fuck, man? I want Aaron Black. <laughs> Takashi 6'9 six, six, in Mortal Kombat. Oh, my God. Luke Rojas, man, he's going crazy. I love it. Luke Rojas, shout out to you, man. But I think Aaron Black will be there. Uh, in this one, he didn't have much of a big role in the story in the previous game. We'll see him here. Uh, Reptile, I think, will return. He's always been a staple of Mortal Kombat. And uh, there's no way they're not going to do a game without Reptile. Uh, Ermac is another character that I've really liked as of late. Uh, if time travel involves, then does that mean we get Johnny Cage? I, I think so. I'm not going to rule out Johnny Cage. So... <laughs> uh, but uh, it is a possibility. So Ermac, uh, again, could be here in this game as well. Kenshi, I love Kenshi, the blind swordsman. Uh, he's got to be here. Kotal Khan is another character that they introduced this last game, kind of considering he himself the new ruler of Outworld. Uh, I think that he will play a role here. Uh, how could they not have Reptile or Johnny Cage? I know, exactly. Uh, Katana, we know Katana is going to be in this game. The same thing as I'm going to say Liu Kang and Kung Lao are going to be in the game. Uh, Jax may appear. I'm not going to rule that one out. It's kind of like iffy because we want to make room for new characters uh, here. I see a Triborg uh, mention. I love Triborg. Um, Scorpion's already in the game. We already know about Scorpion. Uh, let's see. Who else I can think of possibly being in this game? Uh, a lot of people have been mentioning Jade. Uh, a lot of mentions for Jade. A lot of mentions for a character that we knew from Deadly Alliance, Lee May, uh, was also talked about a lot. Uh, they, they were bringing them up. A lot of the female characters were brought up a, a lot, whereas for male characters, not, not as much. Uh, I did see Zelina Vega in the Jade outfit. She was looking good. I'm going to tell you that. She definitely looks good. Uh, I saw her there, Xavier Woods and... Um, Kofi Kingston was also there as well. He was uh, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung, there's another character that may appear again. Um, some people brought up Sindel uh, a lot. So the, the speculation train is starting to run with re returning characters. Well, obviously, we'll have quite a few new characters kind of joining in the mix here. So hopefully we'll see that. Uh, well, we don't know that yet. there is a transition uh, on the Cabal. So... We'll find out more. I thought you on January 30th, they're going to show Cabal. I, there's no way they're not going to go without showing him, and he better not be DLC. Uh, Story-wise, let's kind of get into the story a little bit here. Uh, they did show the prologue, which is available. It's probably up on YouTube already. Uh, it was up on Twitter, so there's a whole prologue you can watch. It's like about four or five minutes long. And uh, the prologue was shown, which takes place right after Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, it shows, and, and funny, during the reveal, he said Mortal Kombat 9, but no, it's it's Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, we see Raiden, kind of a, a dark Raiden, uh, torturing Shinnok uh, with the lightning in the beginning of the trailer. Uh, Raiden is now saying that he's hell-bent on destroying anyone 
that tries to interfere with Earth Realm. If you try to go ahead and try to destroy Earth Realm, Raiden's coming for your ass and he's coming to kill you. Because um, remember, Shinnok's saying, you can't kill an elder god. And Raiden says, <laughs> that is only the beginning, baby. That's, that's how it was working. So uh, it's a very interesting thing to see what they're doing with uh, how he took care of Shinnok. Uh, he basically cut off his head, uh, put his head up on a, a pedestal, and eventually it looked like he was leaving to uh, Nether Realm to see Liu Kang and, and Katana, who were still there, saying, don't interfere in Earth Realm anymore or you're fucked. So it's called Don't Show Up. Uh, Shinnok also mentioned about the possession of the amulet that he also has and sees that how Raiden has changed for the better, uh, which kind of led us a lot to believe after Mortal Kombat 10, uh, if you watch the, what was it, like a mid-credit or post-credit ending that showed... Uh, the, the dark Raiden. We all thought Raiden was going to be the big bad in this game. And it's not going to end up being the case because as he disappeared, uh, we see another character appear and her name is Chronica. Uh, this is what I got off the reveal. Chronica uh, it has the ability to manipulate time. So when you saw Chronica appear, it was like there was snowfall and stuff like that and everything just stopped. And when it just stopped... You could tell, again, the time manipulation was playing. Kronika appears, and uh, she looks to be the big bad of this game. So uh, Kronika is going to be the first time in a Mortal Kombat game that we're going to get a female character uh, playing the role of the big boss uh, at the end of the game. So we don't know if Kronika is going to be playable or not. I mean, most of the times when you get a big boss at the end of the game, they usually are playable. So there's a chance maybe that we probably will see her in some way, shape, or form being able to play as her. Uh, very interesting about what they've shown in the reveal. So getting to the basics, the, the gameplay itself, this is what really impressed everybody. I mean, typical Mortal Kombat fashion, we got our fatalities, uh, and the fatalities looked absolutely phenomenal. Uh, obviously more gore, more gruesome than we've ever seen before, which is something I feel like that every time with a Mortal Kombat game, you got to up the ante. And they are doing that here uh, in this one where we're seeing, uh, we saw faces get ripped off. Uh, I mean, literally just pulling the face right off, uh, I thought was fantastic. Scarlet showing off a fatality using uh she's, she's able to manipulate blood and using the blood like spikes to go ahead and impale and at one point to impale that when it goes right through their head you see the eyeball and i thought that was absolutely awesome um which, those really stood out for me in terms of the fatalities that yeah maybe want to at first i was thinking oh man i'm not gonna vomit during this shit but it was absolutely amazing to see what they were uh, willing to do. Sub-Zero doing the spine rip. Uh, again, that's been a staple since Mortal Kombat 1, but kind of doing it in a reverse fashion. We saw like when he would rip it out from the bottom to the top, uh, to the head, and I thought that was great. And then use it like look, like to club somebody with it. Um, we will talk guest characters there in a minute. Uh, thank you, Stephanie Murphy. Uh, we'll talk about guest characters here in a little bit. But um, the trying to think of another one scorpion had one with the chain and it looked like he was ripping them in half uh <laughs> i thought that was neat uh you should make a, f a fake confirmed for mortal kombat video for big chungus <laughs> while we're at it why don't we put big the cat in there from from sonic i think that would be great for a character i think tss should make that for guest characters in the game and we can make silhouettes and then all of a sudden put uh Big the Cat, you know, like all the most hated characters ever and put them into Mortal Kombat. I think that would be funny uh, to go with. Uh, Thanos, there you go. We could have Thanos, you know, let the speculation begin using the damn Infinity Gauntlet. But uh, I think Spawn's going to be one. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm holding out hope here for Spawn uh, because they talked about him a lot since Mortal Kombat 10. Um, Michael Myers is another game, uh, another game, another character I think of because we haven't gotten all the horror movies like, you know, characters in there. So uh, Pinhead, a lot of people mention uh, Pinhead a lot and to see him uh, from Hellraiser put him in the, in the game. Uh, so there's a lot of horror characters I could pick on. As long as it ain't Leprechaun, I'm okay with it. So Pennywise uh, could possibly be uh, one. Uh, 
that that you know that's been brought up a lot too. Um, ever since they announced the game, people talked about Pennywise uh, being a character, especially with the new It movie, uh, the It Chapter Two, which is going to be out. So uh, <laughs> we'll talk about Spider Man trailer tonight on my stream. By the way, on Twitch, we'll we'll get into that. Uh, I would love to see his final blow. Yeah, that's a new thing too. The final blow uh, in the gameplay that we saw. I think if you get them down to about 30% health, you get the final blow, uh, which has uh, been brought up in there. So <laughs> thanks, Luke. <laughs> but um, yeah, the final blow is there. If you get within 30% of health left, the, the final blow is available to do massive damage. We saw brief x-ray moments. Uh, that, that it's not going to be the full x-rays that we've seen for the last two games. Uh, we see little brief little x-ray uh, things where they're going ahead and breaking bones. Uh, we saw uh, that. So with the final blow, I think that's very interesting uh, concept to bring in. Kind of like how Street Fighter had like the ultra combos. Like you could do the, their huge ultra combo, especially when you're down in uh, health towards the latter end of a round that you can do like a super, you know, ultra combo right there to go ahead and get yourself back in a fight, which is basically what the final blow uh, is doing. Also, if you guys notice on the screen, uh, on, on the stage, like towards the bottom ends of the screen, there are these two gauges. Uh, one is basically for an offensive meter and one for a defensive meter. So you're able to, to use offensive and defensive uh, maneuvers while you're in the fight. So say if, if you're down for a second or you're getting your ass kicked at one point or maybe in the middle of a combo, you can use that defense sort of like a uh, a combo breaker. Yeah, I'm noticing. I don't know if I need more mods, but we're kind of watching uh, what's being said there. Uh, also, thank you, uh, thank you for mentioning that. But also the offensive maneuvers, obviously we know a lot of offense has been used in the previous game, so especially with the special meters that we would see on the bottom of the screen. So, uh, but now they're using a different type of maneuver for offense and defense. Uh, and I think that's great. Uh, thank you, Stephanie Murphy. Thanks for the sub. Uh, I really appreciate it. I uh, greatly appreciate that. Getting close to 300 subs here, by the way, on YouTube. Spread the word, folks, because I'm putting up a lot of videos in the coming weeks, uh, especially as I get ready to go back to work. Uh, for outage season, which is happening in two weeks. Just thought I'd go ahead and throw it out there. I was going to mention it tonight on Twitch. But uh, also, uh, custom, fully customizable characters. Uh, they showed uh, in the character select, you do have the variations again, the three variations uh, for each character. But the one thing you noticed is how you can do gear. Uh, gear is going to be back, kind of like what they learned from Injustice 2. Uh, how to use a gear system, and it looks like we're going to see that again, uh, the different ways you could customize the look of your character uh, in terms of costume. Uh, like they showed Scorpion. Uh, it was a great example. Uh, the different versions of his katana blade and different versions of uh, his spear, the different costume looks that you can go ahead and utilize. Uh, so it was neat. But what kind of got me a little bit in this is... If you looked in the customization, obviously you could set what moves you want to use. So it's allowing you to completely customize how you want to play your character. But also I saw a thing called sockets. And I don't know if you guys saw this during the reveal that they showed sockets. And this said to me, uh, is this microtransactions? Uh, obviously microtransactions played a role in the previous Mortal Kombat game. They're showing up here again uh, for Mortal Kombat 11. And I'm a little worried about this, so... <laughs> oh, Luke Rojas, you're killing me, man. <laughs> uh, it ain't easy, baby. But um, they did show sockets, and I'm a little bit worried about that because the sockets makes me think microtransactions. And I don't want microtransactions in this game. They did it in Mortal Kombat 10 when you had easy fatalities and all this other bullshit. Hopefully they learned the lessons. Don't do this stuff. Don't make like there's a whole bunch of currency in Injustice 2, which was fucking crazy. I don't want to see that in Mortal Kombat too much. Um, I want to see stuff that you could just earn within the game. And, and maybe throw some free DLC later on of stuff that we can earn. Because if you're going to nickel and dime us, it's going to really suck. And um, I don't want that to happen. So holding out hope. Help me out here about what that's going to be. And in terms of equipping gear and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention brutalities are also back here. 
Uh, again, if you go on my Twitter account, at HighOctane underscore Buzz, you will see one of the brutalities that been played out. Uh, one of the characters was playing, I forget, I think he was using Scorpion. The other guy was using Shao Kahn, and it looked like he did a kick. Uh, it looked like he was breaking his leg there for a minute. And then, again, pulling the spine out. And when he pulled the freaking spine out, it was, it was something really unique and cool. And it says, oh, brutality is back. I love the brutalities, and I want to continue to uh, see that in the game. So, so far, speculation is, is just getting started. Uh, as I'm getting ready to go switch over to Twitch and start doing uh, Mortal Kombat for tonight, uh, make sure you guys are checking out Twitch. Uh, it is the underscore Himmel God, although I might change the name a little bit on Twitch just to kind of keep you guys posted. Hit the like button while you're here. Uh, greatly appreciate that. But speculating on characters. Uh, Stephanie Murphy brought this up. And uh, I wanted to kind of bring up uh, some characters here who I think. Number one, I said Spawn. I think Spawn's going to be here. Uh, Todd McFarlane's been talking about this a little bit, about having Spawn come in. We, we knew about Spawn for a long time, so I think it's going to happen. Uh, as far as horror, again, I think Michael Myers or Pennywise, I think is going to be here uh, as a possibility. I don't want to overload too much on, on guest characters versus some other characters from Mortal Kombat past that we haven't seen in a long time make an appearance. So, kind of interesting thing. I think we will see a Mortal Kombat mobile. Uh, again, for Mortal Kombat 11, I, I think that will happen. Um, I don't think that... Oh, well, I'm not going to rule out Triborg either here. The Triborg from Mortal Kombat 10 was really cool. And I'd like to see that come back. So hopefully we see it. But I think Pennywise, I think, would be a better... Yeah, Pennywise seems to be a better fit than Michael Myers. I kind of agree, but I don't know. Some people really like Michael Myers. But then again, you know, Leatherface in, in uh, Mortal Kombat 10. And it's like, well, I didn't like Leatherface too much in that game, but he kind of fit. But then Michael Myers fits here as well. So a Michael Myers versus a Pennywise. And, and considering that we're only getting six characters, who knows if they go ahead and unveil a couple more. So... Pennywise is a good possibility. I think it might happen. Big Chungus, here we go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think Factions will, will return here. I think that we may see Towers come back. Um, no, Freddy Krueger is not going to be here. I don't think we're going to see G.I. Joe either. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. But I think it, they want to try and stick to a little bit more of a horror type of uh, position, I think. Uh, Jason Voorhees was nice in the previous game, Alpha. I agree with you. Uh, a little slow, but still a really cool character. I like that George Lucas. Oh, Luke Rojas, man. The friendly troll. You gotta love Luke Rojas, man. Shout out to him, man. Guys, go check out uh, Luke Rojas over on the Twitter, man. Help that brother out, man. He's like he's like the the, the troll that you all love is Luke Rojas, man. You gotta, you gotta love him, man. I love him, man. Great guy. Fami. <laughs> Luke Rojas is throwing them all out there. Uh, Stephanie Murphy bringing up Marvel. It, you know, they talked about at one point Wolverine. And I don't know if I would want to see Wolverine in the game. But again, with him and, and the claws makes so much sense for Mortal Kombat. And I'm let's just throw it out there. Uh, Deadpool, another character is a possibility here. I don't know about Doctor Strange, Ryan, but that that's not bad. Uh, that, that's not bad of a character. Uh, I'd love to see it. Whether, whether this really happens or not, I doubt it because I feel like NetherRealm's more with DC than they are with Marvel. But still not going to rule out this, you know, the spawn. You got to put spawn in. We're, we're waiting for it and waiting for it. I think it's going to happen. When, when we see that reveal on January 30th, I think uh, we will see him. Obama's. <laughs> well, Luke Rojas is pulling them all out, folks. Look at this. Uh, what about Fortnite skins? Nah, 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 nah. Um, you might see them for the Fortnite game, sure, but I because they have seem to have a deal with Marvel in Fortnite, especially with Thanos. So we're hearing might come back again. So uh, keep an eye out for that, especially when the Avengers Endgame movie is uh, getting ready to release. Goro, I, holy shit, bringing up Goro, I'd like to see him come back. Uh, I don't think you would do it as a DLC or, or, or a special, like a combat pack DLC. Don't do it that way, but I like to see it. Uh, Venom, that, wow, that's a good one. I like Venom. Goku. 
<laughs> oh my god, that'd be crazy. We need to do Dragon Ball Fighters on my Twitch channel at some point. I love you guys putting all these suggestions in the chat. Thank you guys very much for that. Um, <laughs> Tebe. <laughs> oh my god, Tebe. TSS, man, check him out on YouTube. Oh my god, he brought up Tebe. I'm telling you, T TSS, bro, I'm telling you right now, do a video with that where they have the characters walk up in a silhouette. And we could sit there and reveal them like a combat pack. I think would be absolutely hilarious to bring some of those characters. As I said, like a Big the Cat, Big Chungus, you know. <laughs> Hell, make one Tommy NC 2010. I'd probably laugh my ass off. Ghost Rider. Someone just brought up Ghost Rider. Nice. I would do that. Rain. Uh, wow. He was a character brought up a lot in the last few weeks. I think that I would like to see the mask. <laughs> that would be interesting. Stephanie Murphy bringing up the mask. Uh, I'd like to see that. Uh, the best wrestler ever, Kamala. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Goro's woman, uh, Shiva. Shiva was the name of uh, Goro's woman. Or she was a, 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 sh a Shokan. Uh, there you go, son. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are fucking crazy, man. Uh, Jade is a possibility. I'm telling you, Jade. I think Jade's going to make it into the game. So I'm, I'm holding out hope here. And... Uh, uh, that we might see her. I love I love you guys bringing up all the, the characters that we might speculate on. Um, obviously, we're going to hear more. <laughs> toys. <laughs> they're not toys. They're statues. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I appreciate everybody bringing up the comment in the comments for characters. Uh, speculation of what we might see. Uh, how about the Terminator from the first movie? He came off as a slasher killer that won away, but then again, maybe. You know what? We did have Alien. We did have Predator. I like Terminator. That's a good one. I like that one. Sniffles. <laughs> TSS. I'm telling you, TSS could come up with the perfect video. Uh, T-1000 would be pretty cool. Yeah. Why not have a Terminator? You know what? Terminator is a great pick here. Um, considering how much sci-fi that we had, I think I'd like to see that. And maybe... Uh, I would love to see if, John, if they put in Johnny Cage and have Johnny Cage dressed up as the cop. Uh, from Terminator 2. That would be pretty cool uh, to go ahead and do that. So, uh, possibility Mr. Plinkett. <laughs> oh, God, you guys are killing me. Oh, my God. But uh, you guys are bringing up some really good ones. I We're going to sit here, and as I said, January 30th, uh, we're going to let the speculation continue because we're going to get the combat pack reveal. We know who's going to be in it. I don't think we'll see uh, RoboCop. <laughs> That would be cool. I, I'd laugh if I saw a slow-moving RoboCop with a gun, and maybe he could take off his head and it reveals to be Striker. That would, that would be interesting, but uh, who knows. Um, guys, I appreciate everyone coming in here today to talk about Mortal Kombat, what we know. Speculation is beginning. Uh, what we might see in the coming weeks. I feel We haven't seen everything. Obviously, this reveal is a tease to kind of get us interested to see what we're going to see in the future. Uh, Alva says, I'd like to see The Punisher. Well, there you go. Uh, possibility of The Punisher. By the way, that Netflix series is starting right now for The Punisher. Uh, thank you, Luke Rojas. But, uh, guys, we're going to get out of here. Uh, hit the like button on the way out, guys. I greatly appreciate all the uh, everyone who came in here today. Hit the like button on the way out. Uh, if you haven't and it's your first time here, hit subscribe. Uh, which we're getting close to 300 uh, followers here uh, on the channel. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're heading over to Twitch. Uh, right about now, we're going to play Mortal Kombat 10. So if you have Xbox and you want to go ahead and play Mortal Kombat 10, uh, we can get you into the party chat tonight. Uh, we can maybe have some uh, King of the Hill or something going on uh, there, as well as some random gameplay, uh, towers and whatnot. So we'll have some Copa Combat uh, going on. So hit the like button on the way out. Hit sub. Call on over to Twitch. Hit the follow button over there. We're hitting. We're on the road to 300 there as well. We're almost there. We're getting very, very close on that. Thank you guys, by the way, for over 1,100 followers on, on Twitter. Thank you guys very much on that. So uh, we'll have all that in the, in the description below. But we're heading over to Twitch right now. It is the underscore Himmelgod on Twitch. We'll be there in about 10. I'll be there in about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's get ready for that. Let's play some Mortal Kombat. And... Uh, We'll see you guys later, and hey guys, in the comments below, if you didn't get a chance to watch this live, put your speculation in the comments below what you want to see in Mortal Kombat 11. So, uh, someone just mentioned dab. Did, did Scorpion do a dab? Honestly, did Scorpion do a dab in the reveal? 
Someone let me know because I'm telling you right now, I swear I thought I saw a dab. But uh, just throwing it out there. But uh, guys, we'll see you in about 10 to 15 minutes with some Mortal Kombat. For the rest of you guys, uh, we'll see you on the next live stream. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Brian.